This video is going to show you how to make personalized pinwheels just like these. The supplies you will need are a hot glue gun, a paper trimmer, 12 by 12 double-sided scrapbook paper, candy sticks, lollipop sticks or paper straws, clear beads, sewing pins with colored heads on them, Dremel tool for drilling hole in the candy sticks, punches, decorative scissors or regular scissors, and a pair of wire trimmers. To get started making a professional looking pinwheel, you're gonna wanna gather up your supplies. I've listed all of the supplies down below. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. You wanna find paper that's nice and thick and that's double-sided. If it has this little strip here on the end, you wanna go ahead and trim that off. That's just the label. Then the paper should be exactly 12 by 12. Stick it in your trimmer. Find six inches. Cut it six times. Layer it together. Put it back in the trimmer. Go back up to six. And now you should have four squares. I go ahead and print the little circles on my computer. You do not have to do that, however. I use a punch to punch them out. Or you could always take a punch and just punch out and have the coordinating circle. I've already got some of these cut. So here you can see I have lots of different paper all ready to go. And I've already cut a few of these. So what you do is you literally just take a square. I like to use decorative scissors. You can use plain scissors if you want. And all you do is fold the square one way Make yourself some cut lines, fold it the opposite way. Now you have a way to kind of score them and see. Take your scissors, you do not cut just about an inch before the middle. Leave yourself a little space. and repeat. And now you have all four squares cut. So deciding which side you want to be the front facing or you want it to be the other side. I'm gonna start this way. So then you grab your circle and I'm gonna grab In. So I take my circle, stab the pin right through the this and start with the corner. So you fold the corner in, take the pin, stab it right through the corner, and then you just grab every opposite corner. Every opposite corner, every opposite corner until you've got all the corners and you kind of squish it, find the back of the pinwheel, your finger, poke the pin through the back and I just kind of squish it. You can see the pin right here. Now, depending on the kind of stick you want to use, I'm going to use one of these. You could also use a straw. You can see I've already put the hole through there. Before that, 
grab yourself a bead, then put the bead on the pin like this so that now you can see the bead is on there. Then take my glue gun, add a little bit of glue to the pin. Take this and I push it, push the pen through there a few times and then I stick the bead so that the bead dries. See that? And then the bead acts like a spacer and now you can see that the pinwheel spins and if you need to, you can push up a little bit and now the pin. So what about this little piece right here? Just take your flip trimmers, trim that off. And what I do is I just add a little bit of glue right on the back of where that was. And I just add it like a little bumper right there. And now you can see that way nobody gets hurt. Easy.